All right. So uh, welcome back, guys, to the Chuck Jones Center for Creativity Virtual Programming. Um, I wanted to give you a little bit of breakdown today on what we're going to move through. Yesterday we said we're going to follow up uh, with texture and color, and that is exactly what we're going to do today. So we're going to play with Bugs Bunny, his carrot, my friend Chewy, and, and some other things. Um, so today we're going to do texture, right? We're going to name out some textures, and then we're going to use uh, Bugs Bunny's carrot to turn his carrot into those textures, and I'll explain that. And then we're going to take our sheets. So you guys should have two PDFs. You should have this one right here. Does everybody have this one? There you go. I see a whole bunch. All right. And then we're going to get into color. And when we do that, we have our mandala. Yes. So you have some color pencil. So then we're going to get through textures. Um, we're going to take different kinds of sports balls and like pool balls and tennis balls. And we're going to make those into textures with that circle sheet. And then we're going to do our color mandala wheel, right? And we're going to do sections of that. And then we're going to come back and we're going to apply color to bugs as textured carrots, which I'll explain. So first of all, welcome everybody. Thank you all for joining in. Just to give you an idea, I can, I can see some people some of the time. Craig is going to help me out with that because he can see more people. So um, we, if you've got a question or as we go to call on somebody, if you can do me a favor and raise your virtual hand. So you should have the ability to raise like a little blue virtual hand. And then in your little blue virtual hand, Craig will see that and then he can see who that is and that way he can call on that person. Yep, I see two popped up already. Awesome. So thank you for practicing. Yeah. So, so later on, yeah, we'll Janet, for sure. Yeah, Janet, Dominic, you guys use your virtual hand. Awesome. So uh, Craig will handle that. He'll also do uh, Carson. I'm not quite sure where it is on yours, buddy. Um, so Craig will manage the messaging and stuff like that. So if you have a question, and then I can help to answer. And at the end, when we show our projects, we will show every single person's project. We'll call on all of you. Um, you can hop off after you've shown your project if you want, or if you want to stay on and take a look at what everybody else has done, that would be super awesome. I got to tell you, I love the fact that you guys comment and say some really awesome things about other people's work. I think that is fantastic. So at the end of the project here, we'll make sure that we go down the list and, uh, raise that virtual hand. If we haven't, if you hadn't heard your name and we're about to wrap up, but we are going to go through and let everybody show their stuff. Uh, so, to give you so an ben, idea too, we have ben, anywhere between to do 40 it, and... Buddy, ben, uh, just quick, yep. uh, if anybody is, uh, hang on just a second. Uh, if, if I lower your hand, just uh, let, me, let me go ahead and lower your hand because we're not going to do it right now. But um, at the end, if you want to show your, your picture, do the blue hand at the end and we'll just go through them top to bottom and we'll spotlight and we'll just very methodical rather than raising your uh your your real hand because then we get lost and he's looking at some i'll just keep spotlighting and they'll come up so we'll do that and then then i was thinking as you were saying it because we got some new faces here and uh they may not have seen the last two days and just sort of a big view that you talked about the first day was that um you're going through some different skills and that was one of the things that chuck always talked about that you know you're you want to expand your skills as you go through that that you need mm -hmm. those skills like you talked about the hundred thousand bad drawings that everybody has in them and the sooner you get them out the better off we'll all be but uh you know you're you're learning something today you're being creative in how you're doing it and then later on as we go into different projects you can tap back into these skills and use them in future projects so it's not just learning and doing a project today, you're learning this so that you can use it in the future. And so, uh, and then hopefully by tomorrow, we'll, we'll start um, posting the, putting the videos on there. So if you or friends, if you wanna revisit them, if you wanna do a class yourself sometime, or you missed one, you can go ahead and, and go through it again with Ben later on. So we'll start posting mm -hmm. them in the same place that we had them listed. So hopefully by tomorrow, so anyway. That's, uh, yep. that's good. All right. Perfect. And then Anna J, yes, if you want to do circles and segment out, you can do that to use it for when we get to the color mandala if you don't have the sheet. All right. So what I wanted to start off with was I'm a huge Chuck Jones fan, right? And being a huge Chuck Jones fan, I have a bunch of Chucks 
artwork and I love his sketches. So yesterday I showed you my one of my all-time favorites, which is from Baton Bunny. Today, this is an original sketch. Dare I, Craig, take it out of the paper? Oh, you go ahead and do whatever you need. I know you're I'm, careful. I'm going to. I just want to touch the paper. So this is 12F animation paper, right? Chuck drew on. And this is an original Chuck sketch. You can see there's a whole lot of characters in there. We've got Marvin the Martian, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck. And yeah, that's an original Chuck drawing. And I that's crazy. lose my mind. Yeah. It is crazy. So I've got a whole bunch more of these to share. I bet Craig has some too as we get moving. But I've got a whole bunch of artwork that will kind of pop up to show you guys that from Chuck Jones from all our faves. I bet your parents it might be like kind of Carson's interested also. It looks got one down there. Look at that thing. Yeah. Yeah, hang on, let me uh, spotlight this. You spotlight that. It, but let me uh, spotlight the video, put it back up there. Look at that. Nice. Duck Dodgers, little Marvin Martian going on. That's so cool. Right. Nice. Duck Dodgers is one of my all time favorites. All right, very cool. All right guys, let's get into texture. So you have, uh, we're, we're not gonna need that sheet just yet. We're gonna start out with this. When we think of words, and what you can do is I want you just to type it in your message, okay? Uh, I want you to, we're going to come up with some words that relate to texture. So I'll start it off, right? Think of like texture on things. Now here's my friend Chewy. Oh, it's my baby Chewy. I love baby <laughs> Chewy, right? Baby Chewy even makes noise. Oh, baby Chewy's hungry. All right. So baby Chewy is, baby Chewy's furry, right? Fur. Is a texture, right? It's furry good. is a texture. So I also have, I also have Mjolnir, right? Thor's hammer. And uh, Mjolnir, Mjolnir is, I am worthy, right? Mjolnir is smooth, right? It's a smooth texture. It's not rough at all. It's very smooth, right? So, and, and, it's, and it's hard. So we got smooth and we've got Bumpy. furry. Yeah, I right? there's some good things coming up. There's a whole, there's a whole bunch. So as we, I'm going to look at messages as we go up too. We've got uh, fluffy, we've got gritty. That's a good one. What else? What else is a good texture? Strong, close, yes, yeah, strong, like smooth. How, who else has a, go ahead and pop, fluffy, dry, soft, slick, ooh, I like that one. Silky, mm -hmm, that's a texture. What other words? Go ahead and pop them in, scratchy, yeah. Slimy, <laughs> slimy <laughs> is a texture. Rough, yep, hard, all right. Excellent, shiny, sharp. What about prickly? Prickly is kind of a texture, right? All right, spiny, there you go, waxy. That's interesting. All right, so here's, here's what I wanna do for textures, right? We're gonna use an iconic Ch Chuck Jones character's uh, main kind of thing that he uses, and that's Bugs' as carrot, right? As you can see, right whoop, there, right? Bugs' as carrot. So using Bugs' as carrot, and, and it's, it can be super simple, right? We're gonna pick, let's say, let's pick, we're gonna pick five textures, right? So Bugs' as carrot, and, and a carrot is super simple. All you gotta do is kind of draw like a triangle, right? You don't even have to do the big leafy stuff, and then, right, a carrot's got kinda, that's it, it's as simple as it has to be, right? Bugs' as carrot. All right, so we've got Bugs' as carrot. Now, here's what I want you to do. You've got your whole big sheet of paper, right? Your whole big sheet of paper. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this and we're gonna start over. You got, we're gonna do five, five carrots. So all I want you to do is I want you to take your, uh, a, a very light with your pencil, remember, very light, and then you can draw your first carrot, very light. And there's a reason for this because all I want you to do is have something that you can draw a, like we did when we did Bugs Bunny and all our construction lines, right? We wanna keep super light. All right, so I've got that as one carrot and then I got another carrot here. So draw five, four to five carrots, super light on your sheet of paper. All right, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do three here as I fill up my page, but you can do four to five, all right? And we're gonna pick some textures. All right, we're gonna pick some texture. So go ahead and we'll give you another 30 seconds or so and go ahead and draw out four to five carrots. Super light, remember, just keep it super light. 
Bugs's famous phrase. What is what? And you can you can type it in if you want. But what what is Bugs's all time favorite phrase? Like he goes to it all the time. And he's yeah. What's up, Doc? <laughs> right there you go. There you go. Look at that. Look at the messages light up. Nice job. I like the hey dog. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. Excellent, guys. Okay, we've got our carrots. Right. We've got our super light carrots now. We're gonna do. We're gonna pick out. Um, let's say four. So if you got four to five carrots, you can add one, and it can be your own. But we're gonna go with four. I'm gonna start with. Furry. Oh, my chewy. See, he's happy about that. So we have a furry carrot. So above my carrot here, I'm just gonna write furry, and I'm gonna turn this carrot into a furry carrot. All right. So can you turn one of your carrots into a furry carrot? What is fur? Right. Kind of like a woolly mammoth or a Wookiee. So we've got a furry carrot. Right. He's the Lots of. M. Stein said that there's a uh, having a little hard time. Maybe we can put the iPad a little closer, and you uh, remember how we focused on it a little more. He can't see the. They can't see. How the, about that? Let's try. There we go. Maybe it'll focus a little better that way. Is that better, okay. guy? Is that better? It works. Okay. I think it looks better. Let's go with looks that. Better. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Let's go with that. So we have a. Really, but we're gonna do our best. It's pretty light right now. We're gonna do our best. All right. So we've got our furry carrot. Uh, we had, we had a few more. I I would love to see a slimy carrot. Whoever came up with slimy was fantastic. So what if, what if we did a slimy carrot? I would never eat a slimy carrot. For that <laughs> matter, I would never eat a furry carrot either. Hey Ben, can we uh, move it even a little move, move it, angle it a little more to your would be left so that it doesn't pick up your face? Maybe it'll uh, focus a little better. Let's try that. How's that? Yeah. All right. I think it looks better. But it's just me. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, someone said that, that what you just described is gross. Hmm. Totally get that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Slimy carrots are gross. <laughs> Let's see. Slime. The green leafy part is slime. Maybe a piece of slime dripping off here, right? Slimy carrot. All right. Ew, yes, exactly, Mason. That's disgusting. Tater tot, thank you. All right. So we've got furry. We've got slimy. What if we were to do what other texture? Something, something like what's a hard texture? Let's go with, let's go with, um, Bumpy. let's go with metal. <laughs> <All right. coughs> let's go with like a, a metallic, right? Cause that's kind of, it's smooth, right? But a metallic, so it's kind of, it's very hard. So I'm going to do a very hard carrot. Metallic carrot. It may not have all the. We'll make it maybe a little bit more sense too when we actually get to the color part of things. Right. Let's see if I can get maybe it's got a reflection. Right, that's my hard carrot. All right. So last, last, number four, I'm going to do a, another carrot right here. Let's go with bumpy. It's kind of bumpy, it's, so it's kind of rough, right? A bumpy textured carrot. Which kind of looks like an ear of corn, but it's not. So Craig, what did Chuck say about, was Bugs Bunny a, a rabbit? Like when he would draw Bugs Bunny, was, was he drawing a rabbit? 
or was he drawing a, a personality? Are you asking me? Oh, I'm asking you. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, you know what, Ben? I just, while we, we're going to answer that, I just want to let you know that we're uh, currently one minute into a Facebook live video that I am doing simultaneously to share what is going on. So I think everybody, uh, why didn't everybody put a couple messages up to say hi to everybody on Facebook that might be watching right now? We actually have some, some, uh, some viewers, look at that, everybody's on. We got, we got 59 people out there. Ben, you wanna put your face in there and say hi into the video a little bit? Hey there. Hi everybody, look at it, <laughs> my big chin, all right. I like it, it's, uh, it's <laughs> a If I could grow a beard, I would. But uh, look at that, everybody's, uh, yeah, hi Facebook, Jade and Celeste, hi. Uh, it's anyway, so hopefully everybody out there will uh, join us in the future, we're gonna expand the program, so. I'm gonna say goodbye now, and uh, oh gosh, I've got I've got thumbs up coming from Facebook as well. Look at that, everybody's. Oh, you know, I'm just gonna let them watch for a second because everybody's like waving now. So, all right, we'll get back to it. But as far as Bugs Bunny goes, you know, it, Chuck did say that it was uh, easier to humanize uh, animals. Can we do a scaly character? Than than humanize uh, uh, humans, and so. Bugs Bunny was had a huge, uh, obviously, personality, and you look at him over here in this uh, in this face. That is so Chuck Jones with the eyelids down, and you just know that he uh, he he's the winner. So, wow, Anna J, there was a, the biggest high I've ever seen. That's so nice. <laughs> wow. All right, guys. So we have our we've got our carrots down with our textured carrots, right? So Bugs. I don't think he's gonna eat any of these, but that's okay. What I want you to do is I want you to save this, all right, because we're gonna come back to this at the end. So I'm gonna save mine and all I'm gonna do is just flip it over. All right, and now we're gonna get into texture number two. So you guys have this sheet, right? And if you don't have this sheet, it's super simple. It's just three circles across, four circles down, 12 circles total. So you have this sheet. And what we're gonna do here on this sheet is we're gonna make each one of these a sports ball, right? Because sports balls have textures. So if you think about it, what texture is a, what texture is a bowling ball? It's kind of smooth, right? It's pretty smooth, firm, yep. Uh, what about a tennis ball? Tennis balls, fuzzy, right? Tennis ball is kind of fuzzy. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got golf balls, which are kind of dimpled, right? They're a little, they're a little bumpy. So what I want you to do with your, with this sheet here, is I want you to put a different type of ball in each one. Maybe it's a baseball, right, or a basketball, because a basketball has some texture. It's a little rough. And I want you to go ahead and, yep, tennis balls are a little scratchy. And then go ahead and put one in each. We'll give it about. So we get about 10 minutes total as we do as we do some sports balls with texture, right? So I'm just gonna draw mine on here because it's easier to see. So Craig, did, did Chuck have a favorite sport? Hmm. You know, Chuck appreciated sports. He didn't. He didn't participate in sports. I think drawing and uh, and painting were his sports. So that was where he put all of his uh, and writing, um, well, and reading, and uh, imagining. So yeah, he had a lot of hobbies and uh, a lot of passions. But um, he definitely appreciated baseball. I remember he obviously lived up in Hollywood and and uh, was a Dodger fan. And, uh, and so I remember uh, he decided he didn't want to go to a World Series game. So he sent my brother Scott and me in his place one time. And it was the, uh, it was, it, Reggie Jackson was hitting home runs out of the, uh, the park all day and it destroyed the, uh, the Dodgers. We really didn't enjoy that. <laughs> anyway, but uh, yeah, he was, uh, un unfortunately for, for my background, he was a huge, a uh, USC fan, and uh, I'm sitting in front of my UCLA championship, national championship banner here. Um, 
but loved football, loved uh, USC football. And so remember going to the uh, Rose Bowl when I was a kid uh, against Ohio State. That was uh, in the 70s, early 70s. So yeah, and, and he appreciated, he loved tennis as well. So uh, there, was, there was a lot of, of sports that he certainly appreciated. Hey, those are nice, uh, nice round shapes. You got a lot going on there, Ben. That's pretty cool. I, I do. Yeah, there's, we'll see how it goes. It's a sort of my golf ball. So, hey, an interesting thing. Does anybody like to read? I like to read. Did you know, did you know that Chuck had pretty much a photographic memory? Do you know how I kind of deduce this? Uh, Craig, what game would Chuck play with his daughter, Linda, your mom? What, what game would he play with her at night in the thousands and thousands and thousands of books that he had around the house? All right. I, I'm, uh, I'm saying goodbye to my Facebook Live, so I'll be right back and tell that story. Hold on. All right. I'll, I'll set him up. So Chuck Jones was a big reader. That's how he filled his imagination. So all these cool characters, all these amazing cartoons that he – uh, created with his team, right, be came from that wonderful imagination that he had because he loved to read. So um, as Craig comes back, he had back. thousands and thousands of books. And All right, so I got to the, so let I got to the to, setup. So let me get to the place where, um, you know, kind of going back, he, um, uh, you know, grew up, he was born in, in uh, 1912. And so you think about when, you know, in the, in the teens and then into, uh, I mean, his, the 19 teens and whatnot, him at, at his age, uh, three or four, there certainly wasn't any uh, television. There was very little radio that they listened to. Um, their, their books were the entertainment. And so um, the, my great grandfather, Charles Adam Jones, was a, uh, a very intellectual man who loved to read. And so, um, they all, all four of the kids in the family um, uh, taught themselves basically how to read early. Chuck taught himself how to read at three and with a little bit of help, obviously, from his mother and, and some from his father. But um, he just started reading. It was about the same time that he started drawing. And so um, they would actually move. And you can keep doing your, your projects as you go through this. So I see some great things coming up and intent. Um, but the... Uh, they would move uh, around the LA area. They, they lived in, uh, in Washington, they lived all over the place, but mostly around LA and they would rent houses and they would determine which houses they would rent by the libraries that they had in them because if the houses would come furnished. And so they would, um, they would go in and figure out whether or not some of those books were part of the, um, part of the, the collection that they had books they hadn't seen before. So they, but they were great, like Charles Dickens and Baudelaire and O. Henry and wonderful uh, Mark Twain. And so they grew up reading and whatnot. And so by the time my mother was, uh, you know, probably, you know, five, six, seven, ten, whatever, um, there were literally thousands and thousands of books in the house. And, uh, and so, but she got to play a game on occasion and where, before she went to bed, she would, um, she could go into the house, anywhere in the house, and pick any book, and then she would bring it back to him, and he would recite the first line of the book from memory. And, uh, and so, not that he had, he kind of did have a photographic memory, but there was something he said about that first line of a book that was so incredibly important and memorable for him, that he would, uh, he would know that and establish in his mind, what that first uh, line of that book would be. But he, he quoted books that he had read 30, 40 years before when I was growing up that uh, I then uh, found that he would, um, it were very accurate. He just remembered words. Words were very, very important to him. It was a great way to communicate. So anyway, if you get a chance, just go read maybe 5,000 books and see if you can remember the first lines of every one. It'd be fun. I can't remember the first line of the book I read last night. So that's pretty impressive. <laughs> yep. So too, when we, when we get into character, when we get into um, 
creating characters um, and Chuck's philosophy on creating characters, we're going to read you guys a tiny little section of Mark Twain because you're going to find a character that came out of Mark Twain's, one of Mark Twain's book 30 years after Chuck read it. And he was only seven when he read the book. Yeah. Yep. Which is amazing. So I'll read All right. So I've got. Now, hey, Ben, I just picked this up because yep. it's going to be next to me, but uh, not seeing if it's going to pick it up. No, it's trying to disappear. Anyway, I've got Chuck Amok sitting here for the book. And if you don't have it, God, it's disappearing. Well, that's all right. I'll, this I'll, one? Yeah, that one. You got it right there as well. So I'll read I've you the, this uh, one. Thank you. I'll read you the first line of, of his first autobiography. It said, uh, why do animated cartoonists use animals? For the same reason that Aesop, LaFontaine, Kipling, Beatrix Potter, and Kenneth Graham did, it is easier and more believable to humanize animals than it is to humanize humans. So there it is. I already <laughs> pulled it. Ah, hey, look at that. You I got pulled, it. I pulled the quote. Nice. You did pull the quote. <laughs> All right, so I've got seven. I got a croquet ball, a basketball, a tennis ball, a baseball, a golf ball, a pool ball, a soccer ball, and a J Loves Aesops. Nice job. All right, we're gonna take it like another, like figure another minute. We'll take another minute and we'll finish up a couple. I'm running on. I'm running out of. What are the kind of balls? Well, there I got down here. Beach ball. Uh, oh. Uh, Volleyball. Volleyball. Said volleyball, pickleball, bowling ball. You got, um, yeah, there's some good ones on here. And my daughter and I play volleyball, and my daughter, my oldest daughter, plays volleyball for school, and I should know that. That was ridiculous. Pickleball, I forget what a wiffle ball. I think a wiffle ball is like something, right? Maybe that's a wiffle ball. Sort of looks like a planet. All right, there's my wiffle ball. Look at that. I'll even put in some. Oh, Gaga. Dimensional. Gaga ball. What? That's a great Gaga game. Ball? What? Gaga is a great game. If you haven't played Gaga, go go look online. It's like in an octagon. I love Gaga ball. It's so fun. Where's it is. It's <laughs> no doubt. Spike ball. I mean, spike ball is kind of like this. So yep. it's kind of like a mini ball volleyball. Ball. So I can't do spike ball. Yeah. All right. We'll take one more minute, guys. Go ahead and finish up your, finish up your uh, textured sports balls. And then what I want you to do, and I'm just going to look on, on the thing. We're not going to spotlight everybody yet. We're going to save that to the end. But if you can do me a favor, and I'm going to switch to grid view so that my giant face doesn't take up all my screen. All right. So what I want you guys to do is hold up so you see mine there's mine can you wherever you're at can you hold up what you have and i'm going to try to see as many as possible nice sophie jaden celeste jackson ryan claire rosalie and andrew jenny isabella all right i'm going to i'm going to keep rolling through here tamara nice timothy shawan harley dominic i don't see a dominic yet um iPad, but I see two of you on iPad with clipboards. That looks awesome. Megan, Anna J, uh, Carson, Gemma, Spencer, Ella, is it Ella, Ella. I see two there. Janet, Bella, Emily, and Sophie. Cindy, hi Cindy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Keep going. Uh, Jonah, Samantha, Mark. Richard Henry, forgive me because I, I, I keep, I, I don't remember his name. Ellen, Hannah, Hania, Mason, Riley, Hazel Alvarez, Samantha, who else? We have over 60 people on this, so I'm just trying to work through. Amelia, Ashley, Terry, Terry's iPhone. Nice. Amelia, and then I don't see anybody else's. So I, th I think that's all I can see for, for video. Okay. Coming back. 
All right, we got all we got all those in. That's cool. All right, so we're gonna take the textured exercise. Right, remember we have our textured carrots, which we're keeping to the side. But we've been working. There we go. We've been working in a lot of black and white, a lot of black and white. So guess what? Let's throw some color at this. Who likes color? I like color. Message real quick. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is teal. Who has a favorite color? You can just put it in the message. Orange, Riley, cyan, indigo, purple. Ooh, that's very specific. Orange, yellow, Debbie, teal, blue, aqua, teal, nice. Black and blue, all right. Baby blue, nice. Turquoise, there you go. I got turquoise right here. There you go. Nightingale, pink, cherry, red, violet, pink, hot pink, nice, sweet. All right, so we all have some favorite colors, right? This is a color wheel. And do you know that we can make any color from the six colors we're going to put down here, right? Red, green, blue, yellow, orange, purple. So everybody have jade and emerald, all right? Does any everybody have something that looks like this? Or if you don't have this specifically, right? I see it. All right, Sophie, excellent. Jenny, very nice. All right, so you've got this, right? If you don't have this, it's very, I'm going to leave it up here for a second. It's three circles. And I'm going to do mine up here because so it's nice and big. It's three circles. Right, and then a line down through, a line this way, a line diagonal. Did I get that right? No, I didn't. There's two diagonal lines. All right, there we go. So we have three sections per quarter. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we have our sheets. You guys got your colored pencils? I have colored markers, so we're gonna start with this. You guys have your colored pencils? All right, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start with color. And we're gonna go, we're gonna go primary colors first. So primary colors are what? Blue, yellow, red, right? Blue, yep, I see it, excellent. All right, so blue, yellow, red. So uh, on this, I'm not gonna be super specific on where you need to necessarily put the color. We I think we lost you, Ben. Hello? All right, lost your video, Ben. Maybe we lost Ben completely. Hello? I guess we'll we'll figure it out. Huh? He's not even talking. I Dad, know. Dad? He must have, uh, there he is. We lost you. Sorry, him. I had a there, Ben. Go ahead. I had a, I had a phone call coming in on my iPad. Nice. Uh, all right. So on this on this sheet right here, right? So we have this. I'm gonna start out with blue. Uh, and I'm gonna go here. All right, so I've got my blue, it's in the middle. And then we're gonna separate, we're gonna go blue, yellow, red, and I don't see my red marker, or my yellow marker. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, right? So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right? And I'm going to go red here. So let me get my red marker out. I'm going to go red. All right, there's my red. So... All right, let me go, let me grab a yellow marker real quick. I think I see one. All right, and then, 
yellow. Pretty easy, huh? Right? Those are my primary colors. So from here, I can now make all kinds of other colors. So on the outside, I'm going to go. You got all these things down there, and you never ever check them out. You better start Ready? Doing better. So in between my my yellow and my blue, yellow and blue make green. The side stuff you could do like this. Dad, stop. All right, yellow and blue. So I got green in the middle there. All right, and then in between, what do yellow and red make? That's probably should have said that before I brought the marker up. Pretty simple, right? Yellow and red, orange. Right, so we got that, that section filled in. And we're going to put that right there. That'll work. All right. And then blue and red. Purple. Yes, Jenny. Thank you. Purple. So our color wheel kind of looks like this. Oh, Dominic Black. Uh, we're going to get into that here in a second. So, nice job, Claire. All right, so we've got all our, we got all these on the outside filled, right? So, <clears throat> here's a question. Is black a color? <laughs> Is black a color? I see a, no. Megan, no. Riley, Lily says no. No, black is Dominic. Mm -mm. Black's not a color. What is black? What is black? Type in if you, if you can just pop in real quick. If, real quick, what do you think black is? Black is not a color. What is black? All right, I'm going to fill you in. Black is all the colors. No, absence of color is white. All the color is black. Aha! Right? Mm, there's our... There's our knowledge for today, right? Black, all color, white, absence of color. So in here, and we've got our color wheel, right? Um, what we're gonna do is, you, as we move toward the center, it can get a little bit lighter. So the yellow would get a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter, right? And then in between here, we're not gonna necessarily do that right now, because it's already 1240 and we got about 20 minutes left and I wanna get to our carrot, the big crescendo project. So what you can do here real quick, is in between this yellow and this orange, you would take your colored pencil. I can't really show you too much here with a uh, marker. I'm gonna try, let's see how it comes out. So I would take really lightly my orange, right? And I would go real light over it. That's kind of as light as I can get with a marker. And then I would take my yellow, right? And I would blend that, right? So my orange, it'll, this, it'll be a little bit lighter than orange. It'll be a little bit darker than yellow and you get like a yellow orange. And then you would do the same thing. It would be a very light green. And then you would go over with yellow and it has like a lime green. And then we get teal, turquoise in between blue and green. And then between purple and blue, we get a more of a deep purple. And then we get a reddish purple in here. And then we get more of like a red orange, right? So that kind of takes this whole color wheel. Hey, and as we get, yes. Uh, you know, as you're doing that, I just wanted to, to pipe in as the... Uh the engineer that I am and uh, that that black there's there's some you know interpretations of it but it's it's about reflecting and absorbing colors you know and uh, I used to do uh, Navy display systems and so I got into color really a lot is the color does not reflect any color so it absorbs mm -hmm. all colors whereas white is the reflection of all colors together so you know, mm -hmm. you say it's all colors, but it's absorbing all the colors as opposed to white reflecting all the colors together. So it's that it's the, the opposite. So depending on it's really not necessarily a color, 
but like red is reflecting the spectrum of red, uh, the, the uh, resonant frequencies of red within the spectrum. So I just did, you know, talk about that, but that's okay. Just to let you know. <laughs> no, no, you're good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to throw it to you next time on color. Yeah, well, no, no. Gonna, uh, we'll... I have no sense of color, but I do remember a lot of the, uh, the actual physics of color. So, you know, spectrums and whatnot. So, but, you know, it doesn't do you any good for me to know that because I don't know how to put them together. <laughs> You're doing just fine. All right. So we've got kind of our color wheel down, right? And we've got that initial set of colors. Yeah, we're going to do some color theory um, coming up here when we get into characters and stuff like that. What do colors mean? Right, what are some positives and negatives um, attributes of color, which is awesome. And then how does that relate to what you're creating? Like if it's a super bad guy or like a sweet, innocent thing. Um, we'll get into that when we, on, a, on another class here. So here's what I wanna do. We got our color wheels going and I wanna get back to our, our textured carrots. I, I don't know which one I'm going to do. I either wanna do slimy or furry, I think is what I wanna do. So we've got our textured carrots, yay. So as you guys finish up your mandalas on the outer rim, uh, we'll give it like another minute. And then do me a favor, when you're ready, just put up your digital hand, that blue digital hand. So we'll give it one more minute. Virginia's gonna go slimy, all right. Dominic wants a wet carrot. So we'll give it like 30 more seconds. And by the way, you can always finish up what we're doing here afterwards too. It doesn't have to stop. Ethan's got his hand up, but Ethan, you got no video. So it don't, uh, can't spotlight you, unfortunately. Oh. Got hands up. I got uh, there. Let's keep going. I'm gonna lower that hands. So I can't do anything. Uh, let's try here with uh, Ellen, Elon Spotlight. All right, cancel there. I'm gonna learn it as I go. Um, Ella, going to Ella. There's Ella. You got something to show? Nice. Look at that. Uh, all right. And uh, Rosalie and Andrew, uh, there we go, nice. There we go, good job guys. Uh, Liliana, we're gonna just keep cruising through. I see Jenny's. Liliana, see you there you go, nice. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Tim, I didn't see yours, where are you Tim? I'm going to get there. Hold on. There we go. Tim. Nice. Excellent. All right. Cool. So, hey, I wanted, as, as we get into some fuzzy carrots here or some slimy carrots or whichever one we want to pick, right? Because we're going we're gonna to pick one carrot. You, you can pick whichever carrot you want, whichever one that you did on your textured carrot. There is another, even though, even though I, I love my baby Chewy, right? One more time. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so adorable. All right. Even though I love my baby Chewy. Um, there is also another super furry character that Chuck Jones did. Do you know what that super furry large character is? I'm going to show you in a second. All right. Super furry. One of my all time favorites. <laughs> oh, Gossamer. So this is a Chuck Jones uh, painting. It's a print. I love this cartoon, right? So Gossamer is a super furry dude, right? That is some texture right there. I love that. One of my favorite pieces. All right. So let's get into final project. Pick a carrot, any carrot. Pick one carrot. Just pick one that you did your drawing of. And I want you to go ahead and add color to that carrot. So maybe the slimy carrot, maybe it's got some green. I don't know. You're going to have to figure that out. Maybe the furry one is, I might do a gossamer carrot. Maybe I'm going to do mine as gossamer. I think I might do a gossamer carrot. So I want you guys to go ahead, pick your one carrot, 
and put some color into it, put some shading into it, right? We learned value, light, and dark. Um, so maybe it's a little darker at the bottom. It's a little lighter at the top. You've got some shape and curve to it. I don't know. I'm going to leave that up to you, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go furry. I'm going to do a gossamer carrot. That's, now let me go find my marker. Where's my marker? The gossamer carrots. So as you're, as you guys are rocking your textured carrot, Craig. I'm here. So do you have like, so, like a story that Chuck told you when he was working on Looney Tunes cartoons that you were, that you just said, no way, huh. no way. Like it was, it was, and I know there's a lot, but could you like one of your, one of your favorite stories of that your grandfather would tell you about working on Looney Tunes cartoons? Well, I, um, so, so just to put everything in perspective, um, uh, he actually left Warner Brothers the year I was born. So, which kind of is kind of an, you know, uh, just like people are like, oh, did you ever go to the studio? Did you ever go to the, I'm like, well, not at Warner Brothers because uh, obviously in 1962 to 1963, when he had segued out of uh, Warner Brothers, he went to Hollywood and started his own studio at Tower 12 Studios at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. And uh, maybe it was Sunset and Vine. Can't remember what it was. Anyway, um, my mother will know. The, um, but so I went up and visited there when he was, uh, you know, working on some things. Um, but, uh, you know, he used to tell some good, some fun stories about how much fun they had together as their teams, because they were a small group of people and, uh, they, they didn't, um, have the the reach they didn't have the the visibility that companies like you know, do they weren't famous at all they completely no one knew who was making the cartoons they just knew that they enjoyed them in the theater so um and and they never it's not like now you know for all of you who if you have uh, a picture or you have a photograph and you put it out on social media you get uh instantaneous um uh feedback on whether people like it and whatnot. Think about these guys who worked together, many of them for 30 years from 1933 to 1963 when they shut the studio down, um, working together. And they, um, uh, so they made cartoons that they thought were funny. So really, I mean, they would, uh, they would make these cartoons so that when they showed them, they, uh, they, they, to each other, the gags and whatnot, that they would um, enjoy them themselves because they might be out in the theater as, as long as a couple of years down the road. So that was really uh, the, a takeaway that I did th thought about. And you think about all of us being isolated now, working, we still get to be connected by virtual things, but think about those guys sitting in a, in a small building, as we talked about yesterday, Termite Terrace was the first one. And then uh, the Termite Terrace 2, they sort of talk about across the parking lot where he, he worked. But um, my mother tells a great story where um, she actually went to the high school um, that, that his office overlooked before they moved on to the Warner Brothers lot in 1955. So when when she was in junior high, he would be able to look out the window and see her uh, school. And so would just kind of follow along. But those couple of years that she was in junior high, literally, but for all those years, um, you know, they all look the same except when uh, my mother came through. And then he said he'd look out and know that she was out there. And other than that, uh, he always felt that the same people were going to school there year after year, even though that they weren't. They obviously knew kids that were coming through. That's a great furry carrot, man. It's my gossamer carrot. It is a gossamer carrot. All you need is to put a couple of <laughs> on them and need to be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm going to do like a, my, my yellow fingernail tipped, uh, the plumage of whatever on the back there. Nice. Nice. Yes. Well, they, uh, if you think about a bunch of people 
working together for 30 years. And I can see that most of the people on this call are probably 30 years plus. I mean, I see that, you know, you guys are all, you know, getting pretty ancient uh, out here. Janet, you look like you're about 40. Is that right? Yeah? No? <laughs> Janet's going, what? Come on. That is not true. Yeah, the, the person on the iPad over there, Dominic looks like he's probably, what are you, Dominic, are you about 20? Yeah, yeah. Come on, Dominic, I'm looking right at you, I know. So, all of you guys. Gemma, Gemma's at least, are you 15, Gemma? How old are you, Gemma? Put up, how many fingers are you? You're five? Dude. Gemma just had a birthday. Oh, is that right? That's awesome. Uh-huh. Oh, man. Uh if you can put up how old you are on less than three hands, put up how old you are, just out of curiosity. If, you, if, you, if it takes you uh, three hands to do it, don't put it up. But if you've got, there you are. <laughs> that's it, I like it, 10, nice, 10, oh, 10 and 12. Yeah, I, someone's five, you don't look five, but I'll go with that, all right. Oh, seven, oh, 12, okay, good. I, it is three hands, there's nine, nine, 14, 14, seven, six. It sounds like I'm playing football. Holy mackerel. I just it want does. to speak. All right. So how are we coming along, Ben? All right. We're, we're good. We're going to, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to give it one more minute, right? One more minute. Cause we're coming up to about 1252 my time. Yeah. It's and, uh, all for sure. yeah, we're going to give it. Yeah. And I want to see as many as we, well, we're going to see everybody. So here's, I'm going to repeat one more time. So we're going to get to everybody, everybody who has a video, so as long as your video is up and we can see you, we're going to spotlight your video for everybody to see. And when as I said ready, um, earlier, go ahead and put your hand up and I'm going to start uh, doing it when Ben tells me to do it. Just go ahead and put your hand up uh, on there digitally. I see him start to come up and we'll start at the top where I've got and uh, okay. I'll be in control. But when I put your hand down, don't put your hand back up so we can get everybody in. So once we show your stuff, you can put your hand down and then you can watch. So uh, that is pretty cool. I tell you what, Ben, maybe a cool thing to do before we start doing it once, you know, when you say, maybe have everybody put it in front of their um, uh, screen at the same time, and I can take some frame grabs of people. So uh, sure. if you're ready, um, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, take some frame grabs of this. Um, so when everybody's ready, we can. That's okay, Megan. We'll call on you. Yep. And we'll see all of them individually, but go ahead. If you've got them, go ahead and put them in front of your camera for a second. And uh, Nice. That's good. I'm just going to get a little extra video here of everybody's. Keep it up there for a second. Nice. Oh, Those look there. awesome. Love <laughs> that. All right. That's just sort of the general thing. That's awesome. All right. So, show, are we ready, Ben? We are ready. All right, guys. So here's what we're going to do. You go ahead and put your hand up. We're going to spotlight everybody. Carson, I, I didn't see you yesterday, buddy. My apologies. Um, so that's why we came up today and wanted to say we're going to get to everybody. Everybody gets a spotlight. There's if you want to hang on once you're done to see other people's. That's cool. I love the fact that you guys are commenting and making some really nice comments about people's artwork that's coming up. I think that's super awesome, right? Encouragement is great. So feel free. Let's go ahead. and. I think we started. Ben, are you there? I got Anna J up there. All right. Thank you. Awesome. Let's do. Sophie, I'm going to let me get you up here. I'm going to spotlight you in one second here. Okay. All right. Ready? One, two, three. And you are on the spotlight. This is my slimy carrot. <laughs> nice. Would you eat that slimy carrot? No, no, I would not eat that slimy carrot either. That's awesome. Way to go. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you. Ben, awesome. I got, I got uh, knocked off. Sorry about that. Go ahead and just finish. Keep oh, going. Well, do you want to go ahead and do you want to take over on the hands? We have Jenny. Uh, no, next. why don't you go ahead and do it because uh, mine doesn't seem to be showing hands anymore right now. So uh, okay. just go ahead. And All right, I'm going to go with Jenny. So Jenny, oh, whoa. Nice carrot, dude. I love the fuzz. Did you do the fuzzy carrot? You did the fuzzy carrot. I love it. Would you eat that fuzzy carrot? Just give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Would you eat a fuzzy carrot? Thumbs up. No, <laughs> thumbs down. <laughs> okay. 
Jenny, that's awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, I'm going to go to Lily next. Let me spotlight Lily. Um, All right, Lily. That's I did awesome. A slimy carrot. Do you do a slimy carrot? That is a slimy carrot. Holy mackerel. That's a slimy carrot. That, and, that almost reminds me of something the Grinch would eat. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm coloring my smooth one. Smooth one. I, you got some, it's a nice blended look that you have to it on your smooth one. I like that. It looks very smooth. I like your furry carrot also. Thank Way you. to go, man. You are welcome. All right, let me see who I'm going to next. I'm going to Rosalie and Andrew. Let me put this down. Rosalie and Andrew coming up here in three, two, one. There you are. Right, you guys can unmute too if you want. Yep. Yeah. I did my slimy carrot. <laughs> nice. All right, let's see yours, buddy. Okay, do yours. I colored all of them. I couldn't That's wait. That's good. That's all right. So which one is your favorite one of those? Like, which one would you? Probably the rough carrot. The rough carrot? That looks yeah. awesome. You guys did a fantastic job. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Awesome. Yes. And then before I'm going to go to Jade and Celeste next. Before I go to Jade and Celeste, um, we do have another one coming up tomorrow at noon uh, central time, right? So how, whatever your time zone is, we're going to do another one at noon. And I think tomorrow we're doing characters. So Jade and Celeste going three, two, one, and you are on the spotlight. What? You can go ahead and unmute real quick because I want to I want to hear which ones you guys did a whole bunch of characters. Let me hear your favorite. Uh, my favorite is the me metallic one. Mine too. Yours is too, the metallic here. I love that. You guys did an awesome job. Way to go. I love it. Cool. All right, who am I? We're going down the line here. We're going to go to Mason. Mason in three, two, one. You are live, sir. I think I have a still I shot. Oh, there you go. I love the slimy carrot. Now, would you eat a slimy carrot? <laughs> All right, there you go. I wasn't expecting that. Very good. Mason, nice job, buddy. Nice job. All right. Uh, let me go down from Harley. Harley, I'm going to go live with you in three, two, one. You are on the spotlight, sir. All right, Harley, let's see your carrot. Oh, excellent. That is a slimy carrot. I that love the color, man. You did a, carrot, Harley. That's awesome. That is a seriously, and it's got a wilted, wilted vegetation at the end too. Oh, way to go! All right, Bella, I'm going to you next. In three, two, one, you are live, Bella. Um, awesome, by the way, Leonardo da Vinci on the back. All right, so let's see what you've got. Sweet. Here, do me a favor. Hold it. There you go. Hold it a little bit more this way. Like to this side. Nice. Love that. You did a great job. All right, and thank you very much. I'm going to go down to uh, iPad. I don't know who iPad is, but we're going to find out in a second. In three, two, one. Hey, guys. You're on the spotlight. Let's see what you got. All right, tell me which ones you did. Or maybe they're maybe they're not muted. Man, they, they they've muted themselves, so I don't know. I can't. Oh, they're, they're up. Muted? I can hear yeah. now. Hi. All right, tell me what you what you guys did. I did the metal carrot. Nice. And, uh, I love the metal carrot. I did carrot. the bumpy carrot. I love I it. I did the corn carrot. I would I would eat a corn carrot. That actually doesn't sound. <laughs> it actually sounds kind of tasty. All right, I'm gonna go to Carson Ryan next. Carson Ryan and three. And Two, one. You're on the spotlight, buddy. I did a bumpy one. Nice. And then also, <laughs> I want to show you that I have the chewy too. <laughs> you found his brother? Yeah. He's talking to him right now. <laughs> you know what? He also has a cousin. Hold on. 
And I think I think his cousin is probably. Oh, there's Hang on, I gotta, I gotta spotlight you, buddy. Hold on. You gotta. All right, spotlight this Hang one. Hang on. I and then I'm gonna. Uh, gotta and then I'm gonna come back to. There you are. And spotlight. So, there you are. So here's here's my chewy. <laughs> this is this is baby chewy. Oh That's my awesome. chewy. That's so good. All right. We're gonna go down. We're gonna go down the line here. So we went to Carson. Now I need to get up to. Did I do Sophie already? I'm gonna keep going. Uh, you know what? All right, here we go. Rosalie and Andrew, or Sophie. I'm gonna go Sophie in three, two, one. Sophie. Did I already do Sophie? I think Sophie is the guy. I you did. Know, I'll, I'll I did. You know what? I, I got you covered. I apologize. No, nope, sorry about that. All right, okay. let's go to. Let's go to. Um, hi, Sophie. I'm sorry. I forgot that I already went to you, and I'm trying to get you the hands. <laughs> you did good. All right, Ella, Liliana, and Heather in three, two, one. Nice. Slimy carrots. Ooh, ooh, that one's definitely a slimy carrot. I got some green. It, it almost reminds me of like something I would find with the Ninja Turtles. I'm just gonna just gonna go there on that one. Slimy carrots are awesome. Thank you, Liliana and Heather. All right, I'm gonna go to Ellen. L E L I N and three, two, one. Oh, let me see that slimy carrot. That's amazing. That is definitely a slimy carrot. I love it. You and a metallic carrot. I love it. You did a fantastic job. Are you, All right, thank you, you, Ellen. All right, we're gonna go. You look like you're eating a carrot. Yes, you must be. <laughs> we're gonna go to Riley, Riley, you are you are up in the center. I did three of them. I did you the did furry, slimy, metal. Nice. <laughs> I love the fact that you also have slime dripping off the carrot. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> and a metal carrot. Very good, Riley. Thank you very much. All right, we're going to go to Amelia in three, two, one. Amelia, let's see your carrot. If you want to leave you. You're live. What? That is some awesome fur on that carrot. I would actually, it, it kind of looks tasty. I'm not going to lie. For a furry carrot, I would eat a furry carrot. All right, Amelia, well done. Thank you very much. Uh, Thanks. Did I go? You're welcome. I'm going to go to Janet next. Janet in three, oh. two, one. No, I'm sorry. Wait, is this Daytona? <laughs> Hi, um, and my last name is actually Jones. Nice. Is it? Is it really? Part of the Jones. Yeah. Probably, right? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And that carrot is dripping slime. I would definitely want to eat a slimy carrot. It looks <laughs> <All> delicious. <right. laughs> yes, it does. You did an awesome job. All right, I'm going to Dominic in three, two, one. Dominic. You're live, buddy. Hold it up a little bit more for me so I can see it. What carrot? Which carrot did you do? Oops, ch chopping out a little bit. It's I can see a bit, dude. It looks awesome. I'm just losing the connection a little bit. It looks very cool. Thank you, Dominic. All right, Lucas in three, two, one. You are live, Lucas. Let me about it. Furry. You did an awesome furry carrot. Would you would you Thank eat you. that furry carrot? Thank you. You're welcome. Would you eat that furry carrot? No. <laughs> <laughs> great All it. right, man. You did a great right. You're like, mm, that's not tasty. All right, man. You did an awesome job. Thank you very much for sharing, buddy. All right, I'm gonna go to. I think I went to Ella. Or, no, I did not go to Ella. Ella. Ella Anderson, you are live. Um, I did the hard carrot, the slimy carrot, and the furry carrot, nice. and my sister did bumpy and slimy. <laughs> that is a bumpy and a slimy carrot. You guys did awesome. That's Way to go. Well, thank, thank you very much, guys. Those are awesome. All right, I'm going to go to Megan now in three, two, one. Megan. <gasps> What? 
That is an awesome it's slimy the carrot. carrot. And the metal one. What a metal carrot? That looks like a metal carrot. That thing. Holy mackerel. Right? Yeah. I know. <laughs> I would break a tooth on that metal carrot. I, mean, yeah. I can see it right now. <laughs> it would be a trip to the dentist office. All right. Thank you very much, dear. And we're going in three, two, one to seven. Did I get that right? Yeah, I did. Yep, you guys are live. Okay, I did the slimy carrot. <laughs> Man, that's got a lot of goo on it. That's Kiana. Oh, oh. all right. <laughs> Love it. That is a this is Olivia. Wow, nice. Wow. You guys did That's awesome. Cool. Way to go. Man. Very good, guys. Thank you. All right, we're going to go to Lauren Chu next in three, two, one. No way. Tell me about your carrot. <laughs> that looks super awesome. I love it. Thank That's you very much, dear. That looks That's nice. It is a All fuzzy right. one. All right. You want to help me look at carrots? Okay, Shawan Lee in three, two, one. All right, dear. Oh, that's cool. Do me a favor, hold it a little bit. There you go. I love the furry carrots. That looks super cool. All right, now, Shawan, um, you can put that down for one second. Can you tell me, thumbs up, thumbs down, would you eat a furry carrot? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, all right. No furry carrots for Shawan. All right, dear, that's awesome. Isabella, we're coming to you next in three, two, one. I love your background, by the way. <laughs> There you go. Here, do me a favor. See if you can stand up a little bit, and then that way you block oh, wow. some of the background, and then hold the paper back. <laughs> or take the background off. There you are. Oh, there, right, oh, there you go, right there. Oh. <laughs> All right, every time it pops in, that's a cool-looking slimy carrot. Well done. Super awesome. All right, thank you. Thank you. Did I get, is there anybody that I did not get? Do we not? Do we not call him? All right, wait, Jason or Jackson? Jackson. Go ahead. Let me get Jackson. And then, and then, um, Craig, if you can see names pop up that I can't, you know, so I'm gonna I, go to Jackson. I'm not seeing any physical hands pop up, but I'm seeing if I can. I got a, I got some physical hands. I'm gonna see if I can get. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. See if you can do that, Jackson. That looks awesome, man. It's a handle. That's a cool looking carrot. You what? Is that your slimy carrot? No, hammer. It's an apple. I, hold on, hold it back a little bit so I can see it. Oh, there it is. Super awesome, Jackson. You did a great job, man. Thank you, buddy. Okay. All right, we're gonna go to Samantha. Hold on, let me see if I can uh, get that on Spotlight Video. Samantha, you're now up. Yeah. Wow. That is an awesome looking hard carrot. What, it almost what, reminds me of like a superhero. Totally. That's Emily and cool. Sophia, yes, I'll come to you next. All right, go ahead. That looks awesome. Samantha, way to go, showed, man, that looks totally cool. If you haven't shown yours, go ahead and raise your digital hands because it's easier for us to see them. But if you can't for some reason, then you can do your physical hand. We'll do our best, so. All right, All right Emily and Sophia, you're live. I'm Emily and I colored all of the carrots and I added a carrot with scales and a little tail because <laughs> it's kind of like mermaid scale with a tail. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that is cool. Mermaid carrots. Uh, absolutely. Uh, it looks like uh, Anna Jay's got her hand back up. Let's take a look at that. Awesome. Hey, do me a favor. Put it. All right. Sweet. Hold on. And, and we'll go back to Emily and Sophia after this because I needed to see the other one. Go ahead. Um. So basically earlier my mom took it, but here it is. Ah, nice. Oh, that's cool. Very nice. I that's like it. Spaceship a little bit. That's you, awesome. You did awesome. Let me go back to Emily and Sophia, too, really quick, because I wanted to see the one. And let me see if I can. That is not the one I'm looking uh, for. Uh -huh. Hold on one second. There we go. All right. So hold yours up, dear, so I can see them. That looks cool. Do you have a favorite? Uh, I like the slimy carrot. <laughs> slimy carrot. Now, would you, if you absolutely had to, would you eat a slimy carrot? 
Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> we would pass. Nice. All right. Um, yes, the small child with me is my youngest daughter. Uh, all right. If, Craig, do you see anybody else with their hands up that we haven't called on yet? I think we're good. That was, you guys are spectacular. We're good. Really fun day. Awesome. Thank you all for uh, for being a part of this today. Ben, you want to wrap it up and uh, and we'll we'll look forward to seeing everybody tomorrow. I do. Yeah, I would. I love what you guys are putting out. I think it's fantastic. We're, as we're learning our kind of some technical skills and then applying our imaginations to it tomorrow, we're going into characters, which is fun. I have some super cool Chuck Jones artwork to show you about original characters that he's done in Craig and. Craig can fill you guys in too and some super cool stories on original characters. Uh, Chuck Jones did a lot yeah. um, and kind of how they came to be. So tomorrow's characters, uh, noon central time, 10 on the East the coast, 10, yeah, 10 one, on the West coast. East. Yep. We're good. Yep. And then uh, look, looking forward to seeing you guys then. have a great afternoon and we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, before we uh, end the call and you guys, you, anybody can drop off when you want. I would like you to put in what city you are in right now. So just everybody pop in. I'm, I'm in uh, Irvine, California, so I'm just going to put that in here. Uh, so, um, oh, look at that. I got South Carolina. Seneca, South Carolina. Cordova. New Hampshire. Arizona. Cyprus, Texas. Arizona's in the house. Canada. Texas. Montreal. <laughs> Chile. No way. This is so cool. I got Texas. I got Illinois. Uh, Laguna Hills. Liberty Hill. Irvine. Got another Irvine here. San Diego. This is, yeah. I live in Furland. Don't know where that is. What, what city is Furland in? Liberty. Nice. Uh, San Jose. Shawan. That's so cool. This is San, uh, just great. Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. Should have taken that left turn for sure. Is my own country. That's what we're going to do. I like it. There you go. All right, everybody. All right. This is spectacular. I appreciate you all being here. I like your Albuquerque, Eric Dominic. Tomorrow. All right. All right. Have a good See afternoon, y'all. guys. Take care. Goodbye.